Sometimes the output of an action can trigger multiple invocations of another action. When this happens, it's helpful to use an expansion region in your activity diagram. An expansion region shows a set of actions that occur once for each item in a collection. So an expansion region contains some process that acts multiple times on the incoming data, once for each element in the input collection. It may be helpful to think of an expansion region as behaving like a for loop over the input collection. For an example, imagine a car rental agency, and when cars are returned to this agency, they collect a batch of cars, and then they send those cars through their one-lane car wash, one at a time. So our action that would trigger this multiple invocation of the car wash would be receive returned cars. And once they've received a batch of cars, they're going to send them one at a time through the car wash. And so that will be our expansion region. Notice that the expansion region is an activity region that's bordered by a dashed line. Now because this is a one-lane car wash, we've got to send the cars through one at a time, so our expansion region will be iterative. and we need an expansion node to show the input. And our input will be dirty cars. So we've got a batch of returned cars coming into our expansion region of the one lane car wash. And each car, one at a time as it goes through, will be washed, rinsed, dried, and vacuumed. Now as I said, because this is a one lane car wash, each car in the collection, each dirty car in this collection, has to pass all the way through before the next car uh, can go through the process. So this is an iterative process that we're describing here. Let's put in some flows to show how this process works. So once the car, each car in the collection has gone through this process, we have an output and we show that with an expansion node. So once the car has been washed, rinsed, dried, and vacuumed, we can go ahead with the action of renting the cars. Now our output from this expansion region, we had dirty cars going in, we have clean cars coming out. So we'll show that as our output. So you can see from this diagram that we have a batch of returned cars, we have a one lane car wash so we send them through one at a time, it's iterative, so one after the other. Our output is clean cars, and once we have our batch of clean cars, we can rent them again. Now, in an expansion region, there are three kinds of interactions between the executions. In our example, we used iterative interactions, and in when when your expansion region is iterative, the executions happen in sequence, one car at a time through a one lane car wash. Uh, you can use other keywords here to show other kinds of interactions. Besides iterative, the interactions can be parallel, and that means that the interactions are independent and can happen concurrently. Or you can use as your keyword stream, and a stream indicates that all the input elements enter the expansion region at the same time. So they come in all at once and the expansion region can operate on the collection as a whole in its entirety.